Hey guys, you're watching Daniel G on React, and today we're gonna check out the privileges, the the privileges of a penis. We both have one. By so, uh, uh, Sudeep Pagadar. Um, I'm already upset with Sudeep for telling me what my privilege is with my penis. Well, that's know. what I'm saying. I I, oh. I want to know what the, I don't know what privileges I have yet. Yeah, Sudeep. So tell me, why don't you? Um, sarcasm, folks. Hashtag sarcasm. Anyways, let's. Let's let's smash that like button. Let's get into it. Let's get <laughs> Oh man. Brr. And uh, tomorrow be on the lookout for what are we gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna do an EIC video tomorrow. Indian parents are versus Indian kids, the Kunal Rao stand up. Uh, but uh, let's just get into it. I, I'm like one. stumbling all over the place yeah. today. I was born rich, not with a silver spoon, but with something just as privileging, a penis. As I grew up, it grew too. Just like my belief in the rituals, How much institutions, did it grow though, <laughs> and practices of the holy status quo. Do you want to know? Amen. <laughs> I mean, you could probably email him. Is he a grower or a time shower? I learned to reason and think and enriched by the currency of normative gender, oh God. I bought into the binary <laughs> blue versus pink. <laughs> In school, oh, did they snapping? Much to my shame, <laughs> no. being called misogynist once and responding with whore. A word that presently I thoroughly deplore, but back then, I have only myself to blame. In college, this took a similar shape when I chuckled at banter from voyeurism to rape. You know, it's easy to say it's only a joke, but it's a great deal easier when the joker is a bloke. I'll also never forget conversations I've had, mostly all with lads, referring to women as items in mal. Some were butter chicken, some were plain dal. The lingo of consumption on our collective tongues, breathing out lechery, filling our lungs with airy sexism. Kitni baar dekha hai ladkiyon ko taad ke, dil bhar ke aankhe faad ke. Or kya hai problem if guys sleep around? But if girls should do it, we'll take the moral high ground. Bhai, hamara to haq hai, there are no ifs and buts. Lekin behno, tum mat karna. Varna, we'll call That's you not slums. true. You can do that if you want. That's cool. And who hasn't listened to Yo-Yo Honey sing? Dapper in his hat and the shades and the bling. Not once, never did he fail to impress with his lyrics on bombs wearing choti choti dress. Women as but objects designed for male gaze to be fantasized over in a hundred different ways. God damn, we're waiting for this guy to break into dust so in the wind. Two years I've spent normalizing <laughs> swear words from motherfucker to mother chod, from pussy to truth. Loaded words I'd casually shoot, sometimes as insults or just for a hoot. What's a mother chod? some irate feminist friend angered to Ultimate no end to point out that gender Ultimate thing ruining chode. the fun so as to not offend her any more than I'd done, I'd say, Okay, sorry, then what should I use? Because if not this, how else to abuse? Because any other words would sound really wrong, like alternative lyrics to a popular song. You know that one, the song of the ages as written by the sages for everyone to read, women to sing chorus and men to take the lead. Dude, I hate snapping so much. I'll talk I'm about tired. it after. Oh, I know why you do. I'm tired of hiding behind my expansive privilege, Here we which go. reminds me throughout of the times I've maintained silence when I should have spoken out about patriarchy's inherent violence. How and unless I speak truth paid? to power, my own, unless the extent of the problem is known, I can never truly honor any commitment to fight the disbalance that stems from my sex-given right to get what I want and do as I please. It's time for attention. Yep. I will no longer stand at ease. Clearly. He wants some attention. All right. Uh, well, well, that didn't trigger me as much as it triggered Daniel. But uh, I wasn't really triggered as much by what he was saying, by as much as I was the damn snapping. I hate that crap. I was in a fraternity uh, in college. It was. It's a real fraternity. I hate that you say that shit. But anyway. When we would do our monthly meetings, or actually they're weekly meetings, 
any time that someone would say something, it would be the snap. Like instead of claps, it would just be the, the snap gratification. I just hated it so much because it was just so annoying. It was, to me, it was just annoying because it's a part of it's a part of this culture. The snapping is a part of this culture, and at the time I was naive to it. I didn't. I wasn't exposed to this ultra left thinking Mexicans ideology. Don't snap. Yeah, we don't. It just it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, you know. I don't know. What do you th- what do you, what do you feel about this video? Uh, I am Switzerland. <laughs> of course, you're gonna be Switzerland. I won't be Switzerland. Let bring the hate to me. I'm I, neutral. Um, like whatever. Gender neutral. Sure, maybe. Don't you put? Do your, you identify as? Don't you put your binary male? labels on me? You know, not a lot of talk about penis in here, and not a lot of talk about privilege. Yeah, that's the, the thing penis. that must upset me the most. Is like there was no cock talk at all and uh that's what this whole video is supposed to be at yeah i feel like we should mark this video as spam (laughs) like our boggy 2 review was yeah i'm just kidding we're not gonna do that um but you know for me it's just i look at someone like this and i start to think are you doing it because you care or are you doing it because because you're you're trying trying to get get laid laid? (laughs) because that's a real thing because when i start to see these guys who try to like take on the feminist stance and i get it we all want equality. Well, not all of us, but I want equality. I believe in equality. Gian believes in equality. You know, that we, we, we have no problem with a woman working alongside of us in any capacity, you know, getting paid the same amount and, and, and all, et cetera, all of the above. What we don't care about is men sitting on, on standing on soapboxes trying to preach men down and to, to destroy the patriarchy and to do all that. That's not equality. It's not. It's not. And so when we see those people, a lot of them try to do this stuff to get laid. That's what they try to do because they think, oh, I can weasel myself into this conversation. I can be amongst other women. They're going to see me as an ally. They're going to see me as someone who, you know, is down for the cause. And then they're going to let me stick my privileged penis inside of them. And that doesn't work. Always leads to the friend zone, guys. And it does exist. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, you know, I just, the whole time I couldn't get past a guitar player because I was <laughs> fucking waiting for, I close my eyes, only for a moment, then the moment's gone. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> that would have been funny, but um, that's not the type of thing to, to I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I... A lot of this, this is obviously no, super I mean, I, I, here in the United yeah, States. Yeah, and it's I get obviously it. Obviously, abroad as well. I, I get it. We have a, you know, there's an issue with with rape going around the, the whole world, and you know what constitutes rape. You but know, this isn't even about rape. No, it's but he's kind of talking privilege. about it as well, like like the way like. I mean, he's taking it to another level. Like, if you're like saying offensive stuff, it's almost like rape. Like, I, I, I that's I, the vibe you got. I got some of that as well. Like, it's you're using, you know, because he talks about violence in the in the poem. You know, uh, sexual violence. You know, and just uh, we're at a point here where like that's a thing. Like, what do you if cons- you cat do you call? It's, it's borderline rape. Um, what do you constitute sexual violence? Like, if if she likes to get choked a little bit. Is that violence? Whoa. I mean, <laughs> everything's fair game with con- between consenting adults. Like, if they're like, if that's their thing, that's their thing, you know. Even if it's to the point of like, bring me to an inch of death. Did she tell you to do it? I mean, this mad- mad- hypothetical person, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And then, so it's, it's not violence? It's, it's not violence. What if you enjoy it That's as a male? Sh- okay, if you're forcing people to do no, no, shit. No, 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 no. Let's say, you know. Let's, it's not by. If it's, let's say you're like, you're in it, and then she's like, slap me. And then between, you, you do one of these, like, eh, and she's like, no, not like a bitch, no, like a man. That's and, her, then, that's her, and I mean, and then, she's, <laughs> that's kind of misogynistic on her part, calling you a bitch. But, you know, that's another story <laughs> in itself. But I feel like there's certain things that people do. They get a little crazy in the bedroom because that's what they like and i mean that kind of speaks to something else other issues that probably happened during childhood or or whatever you know that's a completely different story you know we could break that down another time but uh you know i think when you talk about sexual violence you're talking about um well rape or like 
you know assaulting yeah, groping. Like, like you're having regular sex with someone and then you're slapping her and without her asking digging you know, in her butt you know the forcing ain't forced anal sex absolutely that's not a good one men are able to force themselves on women absolutely no if they want that's to. not to sit no. let's let's close with this because we've been talking a lot we've been joking a lot the the issues he brought up i think there's there's credibility to a lot of them However, I don't think the issues are black and white. And, and that's my problem with a lot of these. Obviously, it's poetry, so it's supposed to be an artistic piece. It's not supposed to be, you know, a huge 100-page paper about this crap, a dissertation about all this stuff. I get it. I understand that. It's poetry. It's, it's meant to make you feel something. It's meant to get a reaction You know, they idea. say behind every shitty man was a shitty woman. Um, I've never heard that. It's sexist. But what I was going to say is the issues he brings up are relevant. I think the thing is... A lot of people like to, to listen to stuff like this and then continue to regurgitate it as if that's the only side of the story and it's not that way. I think there's multiple sides to every single that's story. Definitely, there's I mean, gray areas that, to everything. That's where we are here in the U.S. of A. And anyways. no one talks. No one talks. It's all like... It's just, fuck you, I'm right. No, just, fuck you, I'm right. It's just like, right. just, yeah, just, just spitting out other people's opinions and like using them as fact. And, and then in reality, I feel like most of us quoting kind of like agree with the same stuff. Quoting statistics and shit that like are like, eh, they're vague statistics that you, you can't Only really, help your cop right they leave out the other it's not ones. just this it's it's it's, 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 it's everything it's that's everything. what i'm saying uh, so it's not we're not just that's the political this. climate that yeah. we're in and i'm wondering if this is a global phenomenon like the fact and that I'm he making, said yeah. the fact that he said he couldn't laugh like at where's it. the tuning fork at you know behind him because he had one behind him uh um, has got jokes tonight he said he couldn't laugh about sexual jokes rape jokes or whatever i don't know what the specific ones but it was like rape and other things like i find myself I'm going to get myself in hot water, but a joke that's funny is a funny joke. And if, if it's funny, it's funny. I don't, I don't know how many jokes I've read that are insensitive that have been told to me by women. Well, insensitive and, are, and rape jokes are a little bit different. But if I mean, a woman's telling you the joke, are you not allowed to laugh at well, it? Well, there was, I mean, there's a con, we, we did that comedy show where the girl had been raped and she made a joke out of it. I mean, that was one, that's one way of doing it, but. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a joke. It's all about context. Yes. I, mean, I mean, context is really important. I guess that's, 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 uh, that's another story in itself. Um, anyway. I'm, context is really important. How many downvotes do you think we're going to get on this video? Oh, I don't know. Well, the one thing I took from it more than anything else is that you do need to speak up. If you got a shitty friend who does shitty shit to women or people in general, put them on blast. And you like just let it happen, yeah, you are kind of at fault for that. 100% agree with you know, that. And there's a lot of us out there that do that like cuz I feel like well, I feel like I feel like we've been in situations while well, these me where you said it's because if so, yeah, if someone's being a dick and it's because they're a woman, you say I I feel like 9 times out of 10 people say like say something because there's just you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just because well, it, uh, it's not because it doesn't no, matter if they're a male or female. It, they're being it, mistreated. But if they're doing it to a stranger, you're less likely to stand up for them because you're probably never going to see that person ever again. You know, when in fact your friend was wrong, he was being a you know a dick, or he was saying something abusive, and you just let it go because you're like, you know what? I'm not going to see this person. I see this guy every day. It's just like going to just. No, it's a tough. It's a tough thing. I guess that's what I was trying to say too. Nothing's black and white. Everything, yeah. Everything. There's a gray area. To everything. Um, but I think people like need to st definitely need to speak out more and tell your friends like, hey man, shit's not cool. I mean, Internet's I feel like I've been getting thing. more uncomfortable with like jokes people make lately. Like, well, I feel like a lot of people are making jokes now because of this taboo right here. I feel like when it wasn't spoken of, and you, you made a joke about whatever. I'm not saying about rape, but about anything. It was like, oh ha ha ha. Let's move on with our life. Now it's like, oh, you make a joke, and now it's creating an internet controversy, and now, like, you literally have to choose a side. Okay, was this joke offensive? Was it not offensive? Which side am I on? Yeah. And now, all of a sudden, a, a one-off line or a one-off tweet or a, 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 a line at a comedy store it's is, either, is, like, a well, big thing it, now. It's, it's either you apologize or you double down. That's really where we're at now. Because um, people don't ignore it. I think the yeah. reality is you just get off the fucking internet for a while and then you just kind of let people hash it out mm -hmm. themselves. I mean, Tom Segura, his recent stand-up special, he got a huge bunch of flack because he was talking about, um, he made jokes about the word. Oh, that's because somebody cut it together, that too. That made it look bad. Yeah. But he, he was like, he said he was engaging people and trying to make it seem like it, he was trying to defend his point, and then he got to a point where it was like, wait, Netflix isn't saying anything about this. All these companies that are paying me money to do this comedy aren't saying anything. I'm not going to say anything either. And then it kind of just blew over. 
Yeah, I mean, and that has more to do with other people defending people for those people. And that's, I don't even that's want to get to that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You know the drill. Uh, let us know if you disagree or agree with us in the comments section. Um, tell us where you think we're wrong. Tell us where you think we're right. Tell us if you're snappers. Yeah, tell us if you're snappers and you think we're assholes for calling out snappers. Snaps. Snaps. He was calling out the snappers more than me. But uh, anyways, uh, that's going to do it. Check out these other reaction videos we have over here. We'll see you soon.